What's up everyone, I'm Nick. Welcome back to this week's build video of a king size mahogany bed frame. And in this week's video, you'll be seeing some very sleek knockdown joinery in a fresh design as always. So I hope you enjoy the build. So to help you follow along with the build video, I thought it might be helpful if we started off by going through my game plan. Now a game plan is a very general idea and I kind of figure out all the details as I go. Basically three steps to this. Headboard and footboard, those start with the legs, the rails and the rail joinery, followed by the slats in the headboard and footboard and the slats across the bottom that support the mattress. And that is how I'm going to turn these boards into one badass bed frame. Make sense? Let's do that. Important part about this design is that it's gotta be really easy to break down, very transportable and uh, simple. All right, now that the legs are done, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward to the joinery portion where the rails and the legs connect to one another. Now we could just bolt them onto the outside and call it good, but I think the more withstanding approach to this is going to be a cross lap. And that's where the rail will sit. Okay, let's do it. With the lap joinery done in the rails, I can now index the miters joining the side rails and the end rails, as well as the knockdown portion of the side rails with using loose tenons. I really enjoy all the feedback from you guys, so drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this crazy knockdown design, if I've just lost my mind. Uh, and also, if you've seen anything cool in this video, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button.
Now with the headboard and footboard assemblies cross-lapped into the rails, we can get started on the breakdown joinery. We already indexed the join with loose tenons, so zip bolts or countertop connectors are used to draw the join together. Now I can already hear the critics saying, why not just use bed bolts? Well, if you've ever used bed bolts, you know they're a pain to install. Also, it didn't work with the design. So I opted for this because it does not rely on the breakdown portion of the design being at the miter, which is weak, and utilizing the cross lap to stabilize the miter in the leg. All about longevity here. Rinse, lather, and repeat on all four. So now I just want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about this knockdown design. It definitely probably wasn't necessary, but if you followed me for any time at all, you know, trick shot that and dropped it. I like to mix things up, make it a little complicated for myself and, and bring up the level of difficulty each time. All right, now that we've got the leg assembly joined, all the breakdown hardware in place, uh, this has given the correct reference to go outside to outside so I can get a proper relative dimension on the slats in the headboard and the footboard. So we'll go ahead and get those cut next and get them joined to these upper sections of the leg. So one of the questions I get all the time is about design, and I, I really just do wing it most of the time. Uh, but in the initial design, I saw this going basically all one species. But as it kind of formed in my head and I got to see it in person and it started to take shape, I saw that maybe a little bit of contrast would be nice. So I decided to take some of this walnut. It's air dried 40 years from beams that came out of some barn. Uh, I don't really care about that, but it was a little bit red and it's hard to sell red walnut. Go figure. So the contrast here is going to come from a something a little different. And we'll see that coming up in just a second. But for now, now that all the joinery is done, I can get start getting things glued together. As you saw before, I was using tape to hold everything together. This will be a little bit of key to uh, just stabilize that miter. Actually, it's more for looks because there are those, those splines inside. Putting a little key across doesn't do a whole lot. And this is the coolest little trick. By mixing steel wool and vinegar, it creates iron acetate, which reacts with the tannins in the wood, turning them black. So you can watch in real time here, brushing this solution on, it turns this red-toned walnut into a rich dark black. All right, home stretch. These are the side rails, putting in the supports for the slats. And we'll get a little bit of the fit finish and detail going here. Make sure everything's gonna go together well. And finishing everything with a one pound cut of platina shellac that I mix in the shop. Uh, start with a base coat and then finish it off by spraying. I really appreciate everybody watching today. Let me know what you think about the design in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and stay tuned till the very end for those juicy studio shots. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.